everybody, it's Laura from Mom Envy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today how I make very strong Pinterest pins with a lot of different keywords in my description. So that way when somebody pins from my directly from my blog, it has all of the information that I want it to have in Pinterest, which makes it a stronger pin and makes people find it a lot easier and makes it more pinnable. The first thing you need to do is to take a very strong image, either make it in Canva, which is a free program, or for me I make it in Photoshop. So now that I have my image, I go into my blog, and I always put some sort of blurb like, you want to pin me later, um, just so people kind of know which image to pin. So I'm going to upload my image. It's going to take me a minute to find it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember where I saved it. Okay, so now that I have my image, I am going to change the title. The first part of your title should be your SEO keyword. Then the second part that I always add in is my blog name. It's just something I do with all of my pins. So now what I do is I go over to Pinterest. i got to find the button up here because my little screen capture is hiding it. So it's going to take me a second. Hold on one second. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the search and I'm going to type in peanut butter ice cream cake. See what comes up. Now up here at the top, you see where I'm putting my little mouse uh, pointer, is a bunch of different keywords. Now for peanut butter ice cream cake, it's kind of specific, so this one isn't as good as a, uh, an example as some other ones. But it does still give me some keywords I can put in. It says things like simple, chocolate, dessert. So now I'm going to go back to my image, which I have lost. So let me go ahead and just go back to add image okay back under the title all I'm gonna do is you can use a comma you can use periods but I'm gonna just start writing a bunch of keywords now it doesn't make much sense for a title but in Pinterest you want this to come up as your description so I'm gonna write Reese's peanut butter ice cream cake peanut butter cake chocolate ice cream cake a bunch of different keywords that I think somebody may search on Pinterest. Think about when you go to Pinterest and you're looking for something like, I want to find a recipe for um, uh, the best cinnamon rolls. So think about what you would type in. You know, cinnamon rolls, best cinnamon rolls, easy cinnamon roll recipe, quick cinnamon roll recipe. So that's the type of words and keywords that you want to put in. Now I copy and paste my title and put it into alt text. It depends on the browser which they grab for Pinterest. So you want to make sure they match. You want to be the exact same. So you just copy and paste. So now I've inserted my image. And I'll go up and update, which is going to take a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like now on my website. I don't always pin right away. It depends like what time I'm putting my doing my post at. Um, I don't want to always pin from at 6 in the morning. And so I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to find my pin for Pinterest, and I've installed the plugin for the Pinterest button pin, so it makes it really easy. So I'm going to click pin it, and as you can see, over there in my description are all of my words ready to go. So now whenever anybody pins directly from my website, it's going to have all of those keywords that I want people searching for. I'll just save it into whichever pin folder that makes sense, or board that makes sense. And that's it. We're all done.